psych. I am gonna do the consignment barn first. I just realized how silly it would have been to be driving back and forth. I do enough driving as it is. So I'm gonna try and make this kind of quick because um, I do want to have time to go to Lewisburg Antique Mall, especially since I cut it so short. Oh my gosh, this person is really having a hard time parking. Eek. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna go in, try and breeze through here. Okay, well, right off the bat, I noticed these ornaments are amazing. And of course the uh, bubble lights in the original box, but this Santa Claus light, I guess it's a tree topper, 1250. I wonder if that works. I don't like how it's bent around the edges though. I'm not mad at it because of its age. I feel like it's totally fair, but might have a little too much damage for me to get uber excited about. Gosh, these ornaments are insane. I also really like this little Santa. It's in a case though. I'm not sure if I'm willing to bite the bullet on the cases. Here's one of those funny paper mache Santas. It's got a, what does that say? Made in Republic of China. It's got a little age to it, but he also has a little bit of damage. Oh, I guess it's for Mr. and Mrs. Claus, $6. That's really fair. But again, with the damage, I'm gonna move on. I'm basically barely, uh, I almost ran this lady over trying to get over here. I saw this Holt Howard Lipperman cottage cheese cow jar. Unfortunately, it's $70. I don't think there's enough room in that for me, but I've never seen the ones with the cows. I usually just see the cats. That is really neat. Uh, the whole bank, more salt and pepper shakers. These are kind of funny, orange heads. <laughs> They're all definitely priced at retail and then some. So we're gonna put those back. Love these mid-century colors. That teal is fun. Um, I have, I'm just curious, 100 bucks. Pink telephone, so fun. Oh, I love that Chesterfield sign. Love old tobacco. Stuff, 325, it's in really good condition. I am patiently waiting to get in here because I am about to tear through this booth. All right, here we go. First of all, Holt Howard, they have some paint loss. This, I cannot let sit here any longer. This is probably one of the best things I have found in a while. These fuzzy Santas are really hard to find, especially with the fur in good condition. I love that he's holding the little bottle tree too. For $15, I am definitely picking this up. That is adorable. Um, normally, I am a little picky when it comes to picking up banks without the uh, stoppers in them, but for this one, I don't care. You can get them on Amazon. This is a really hard one to find. Next, for $6, I think I might go ahead and pick these up, even though they do have the paint loss. Um, I won't sell them for that much, but I'll still be able to make a profit, and I feel like they'll find a quick home since they are Holt Howard, and normally they are on the pricier side. All right, now, what about this little? Oh my gosh, how cute. For $5, she's definitely coming with me. And her face is in really good condition, which I feel like is a tough ask. Yeah, that's a really good deal. I've never seen this exact one either. Love the trim on her. And I really like these Christmas ornaments. Is this one with the freaking, stop it. I feel like that's probably rare. I don't know the most about Christmas ornaments. All I know is that they're really easy to break and that's a really, really good price. Also, this sign, um, if I still had my booth, I would definitely pick this up. I don't feel like messing with it, quite frank, but I know enough to know that's worth well more than $15. Next, I see this reindeer blow mold, $45. I feel like that's a really fair price. I might actually go ahead and look that up just out of curiosity. I'm not much of a blow mold person, but 
feel like the reindeers are kind of hard to find. So I see on sold, it looks like the average price is about $75. Surprisingly, there's one sitting on eBay right now for 56 bucks. So I'm definitely not gonna go ahead and pick that up. But a collector is probably gonna be really excited to find this, especially because they obviously don't have to pay the shipping fee on top. All right, it looks like Lennox. But wait a minute. Okay, so I know the joke's kind of dead. Beat it with a dead horse. <laughs> uh, the joke is that I'm not a horse person. However, I am a figural on chain person. And for $5, this is kind of a pain to pick up, let alone ship. But for five bucks, um, I'm gonna take this main chain off here and investigate further to make sure it's not broken before I put it in the basket. So I really had to work for that one to come off. Remarkably, it looks like all the horses are in good condition. I was totally expecting to find some repaired legs in here, but I've never even seen it with this many ponies attached and I am such a sucker for fuzzy ceramic. For five bucks, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the basket too. Caught glimpse of these Napco wear fuzzy girls, candle holders. You know, these haven't sold that well for me in the past, which is kind of surprising because other versions of it did. The candle holders did not. $15 for the pair is retail, so I'm gonna go ahead and put those back. All right, we are doing excellent on timing, so I am headed upstairs. Give it one last quick walk through up here before I check out. <laughs> I know this is new, but this is hilarious. I kind of love it. <laughs> oh, here's one of these funky uh, mid-century ashtrays. These used to sell like hotcakes for me. I was gonna say it's 25% off, but it's only over $5. I'm gonna put that back. Um, kind of go, gone through a lot of those recently. Oh, what do we have here? It's a new one. They make older ones like this. I got really excited. I had a feeling it was too good to be true, but I'm gonna put that back. This face is kind of pretty. It looks new though. Yeah, the, yeah, made in China. I was gonna say the glaze on the bottom is telling me everything I needed to know. It is a little dark in here, so sometimes it can be hard to tell from afar, but now that I bring this out into the light, it's pretty obvious that it was uh, reproduction from the jump. Very pretty though. This kind of caught my eye. It got a big old piece of carnival glass. And this, oh, I was gonna say, I was like, why is this only $10? It's because it's very broken. This enamel over brass mother of pearl vase is kind of nice, even though it's not really my style. Then I also picked this up. I think this is very cool. It is hand painted. Unfortunately, it looks like someone has taken the tag off of this. Oh, whoa, look at these dishes. These bohemian glass, hand painted. I really like the orange one. They're only $3 each too. Um, these are these kinds of things are hit or miss for me, but I kind of feel like for that price, it would be weird not to pick this up. I'm putting my basket down. I'm, this booth has a lot of stuff hidden in here. I'm gonna take my time going through it. $20, that's fair. I haven't had much luck with those. Now this looks new, but I'm really into the shape and the color. $20, you know what? If that was actually cheaper, even though it's new, I'll get it now. This, this looks familiar, $40, it's really pretty. Of course, the name's gonna dawn on me as soon as I'm editing this video. And yes, I can see it's signed on the bottom, but um, Belgium, my eyes aren't that good. I usually take a picture and blow it up if I'm really curious. Lots of Fire King and such. Have some religious planters in here. This one's new. Jesus isn't, $3. Why is it $3? I guess it's got some pain loss, but still I feel like that's super fair. Um, I have a similar Mary like that right now, so I'm gonna leave that. Ah, what's this monkey up here? Can I reach this safely? Little zippy, $20. That's definitely a fair price for a collector. Um, the monkeys, honestly, 
don't sell that well for me like this style i feel like people um people probably have them already and he's got some nasty stains now that i'm looking closer lots of milk glass i'm trying to stay away from white milk glass though although i see a couple pieces of pottery that are interesting over here mainly these goats they look italian $20. Definitely uh, a little bit older and Italian. However, at $20 each, I don't think there's that much room for me. Also noticing this set, please have Jesus and Mary on the side. Oh my gosh, they do. $2. That's insane. It is a shame that someone has put shipping tape on these. I'm going to see if I can safely remove it without taking the paint off. This is a really great set. All right, well, they were lucky enough to come out essentially unscathed. That is amazing. This is a pretty hard set to find, especially with the Jesus and Mary. That makes them super collectible. For $2, this is a steal. What about the egg? Is this Satsuma? $20, I'm not messing with that. It's kind of making me a little nervous, precariously placed there. Oh, here's another one of those paintings. Wow, that's amazing, and it's only $20. Kind of feel crazy not picking this up but it's really it's literally held together by thumbtacks and i'm not trying to uh mess with that also i feel like is this blanco glass it's really cool 40 bucks though yeah these are really pretty um, though it's not really my thing i've picked stuff like this up in the past and i don't know i'm just really not in the mood for these today for some reason even at three bucks so i'm gonna Stick true to my my shop style here and move on. It's this opalescent hobnail. That is really pretty. Is it for both? Wait a minute. The fact that it's for both is kind of cool. I've never really seen these two together. <sighs> I'm second guessing myself. I've had blue opalescent so much in the past really want to switch it up ah the fez man planter planter five bucks oh he's got a lot of paint loss unfortunately was this a little coal mouse it's cute well i was about to check out and then i saw this little parlor chair that is 32 dollars, which is an insane deal but then i noticed this i was literally about to just grab it and take it to the cash register but then I saw it was $1,200. I thought it was $120. That is an incredible sign. So in there, I only spent a whopping $34, which is insane because that's less than what that Napco Fuzzy Santa Claus bank will sell for alone. So once again, I'm in a bit of a time crunch when going to Lewisburg, um, but I still got enough time. It's only like 1130, so I got about 35 minutes to kill here. Mm -hmm. 